What's going on, Team Rejuvenate? Today we're going to be going over some stuff about the channel, the future of it, because as you can tell, the content's kind of died. <laughs> and that has mainly to do with the fact that I'm just really swamped when it comes to school. Yeah, you know, you know how it goes if you're, you know, in college or in high school or whatever it is you're in. But I've been very swamped. Not only that, but Red Dead itself hasn't very much excited me. You know, like the uh... yeah. So this didn't save at all yesterday. Anyways, the uh, the update that we got on Red Dead sucks. Like the only thing really exciting coming out is the fact that we're getting a survival mode. And for that to happen this late in the game, uh, honestly, I, I think that Red Dead's dead. Content-wise, I'm going to be shifting from Red Dead to other games like GTA. Um, no Call of Duty. I'm, I'm going to do lots of Let's Plays once I get a... Uh, what's this game called? Uh, who's in this lobby with me? Uh, I don't know who you are. Anyways, I'm, I'm planning on doing some Let's Plays on some, some games that are coming out for the PS5. So, I need to buy an editing system, software, so I can edit properly. Uh, there's going to be some other content coming to the channel. I can't really say just yet, just because it's not for certain that it's coming in anytime soon. Uh... If you guys do want me to continue doing Red Dead, I need suggestions, which means you need to join the Discord server, okay? I'll make whatever content you want for Red Dead. If it's something I don't know how to do, we'll figure it out. But as far as I'm concerned, Red Dead is dead. Literally, the little heist update they gave us is garbage. It's only $100 per time you actually do it. And if you're looking to make money, again, the quickest way still is either legendary animals, you can go hunt them. Oh, wrong thing. You can go hunt legendary animals and make a couple hundred dollars that way off of it. Or you can just go collect and make thousands of dollars off of it. The Outlaw Pass itself, only 25 levels, and it doesn't last as long, and it gives you back all your gold and whatnot. It's a cool concept, but again, for hardcore players who want to play the game, I feel like they can't because there's just no content. Not to mention, it's, it's a lot like GTA, you know, this the Tuners update came out. It was phenomenal. But once you do all the main, like, setups, what are you really doing after that? Are you just sitting there AFK farming the, the cars and stuff? Like walking in circles? Because that shit gets boring. Not everyone likes doing races, and the races themselves suck. Okay, the races aren't that fun. But I have been fun. Been fun. I have been having fun doing the uh, Cayo Perico. Perico? Cayo Perico? I don't know. However the heck you pronounce it. Single de Gallo, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, that's really all I've been doing on GTA. Uh, Destiny was another game I was thinking about bringing back content wise, but again, the games are just so overly saturated that it's like, damn. I need to figure out what I'm going to do again because, you know, Red Dead was the thing that I did and there's just no content. I've done every single thing. Unless you guys want me to keep making the same video every single day for Red Dead, then I can. Like, you know, I can be all oh, best, best money method update, best way to rig up bounty hunter update, you know, that can be like that kind of channel. That's just a spammy channel, you know. I didn't want to do that. So, as far as content, expect to see a lot more GTA on the channel. Uh, you know, money methods and 
rank up methods from zero to hero, basically. Uh, and then some Let's Plays coming in the near future as well. The first game that I'm hopefully going to be playing is Jack and Dexter. No. Not Jack and Dexter. Ratchet and Clank, the new game. I was going to say Jack and Dexter can get a new game. Ratchet and Clank, the newest one on the PS5. So, stop locking on to people. So if you guys are excited for that, leave a like on the video. I know it's probably not what you wanted to hear, especially with the fact that the newest thing came out. And honestly, that's really all I'm going to be doing for now on with Red Dead, is it, with content, is whenever there's a, like a new uh, like little heist that comes out, or content, I'll hop on there and do that. But other than that, the, the, game's, the game's fucking dead, alright? I'm trying my hardest not to swear in this video because, you know, YouTube doesn't like crap. But if I'm being real, Red Dead's fucking dead, okay? There, there is no content whatsoever in that great, beautiful game. It's one of my favorite games of all time, but there is no content. There's only so much collecting one person can do and sitting the Shut the hell up, Pevel. <laughs> but anyways, there's only so much of the same old, same old that one person can take before they get burned out of it. Am I burned out of Red Dead? Yeah, I have been for a while. It honestly stopped being fun and it felt like a job. A job that I did enjoy because the content itself was just so shit. Again, don't forget to like the video, comment down below, guys. Um, stay tuned for GTA Online updates and stuff like that. You know, I'll go over some more of this stuff with you guys. But anyways, I hope you're all having a fantastic day. I'm not gonna close it out just here yet. Because I want to finish the mission. I hate when people just finish the mission and then or don't finish the mission and close out a video. Anyways, the reason why I'm doing this heist all over again is because I was trying different methods and approaches in, in the game itself. Not to mention, if you do all the uh, approaches, you get 250000 extra dollars. So... I went from having 20 million to 5 million, and within four hours, I regained my money almost. I've made five million dollars within four hours. Well, and then from there today, I'm gonna do this at least three or four times, and I should be close to. If I do a 14, 15 million by the time I'm done today. So if you guys want to know how to get the maximum amount of profits, leave a like on the video. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Where we roast and talk shit about other games that Rockstar's made, basically. <laughs> it's basically what my channel's turned into. It's just talking shit about other games because Rockstar doesn't know what the hell they're doing. I can't say that. GTA's been out since 2013. Oh, what, what a surprise. The game's been out since 2013. It's, you know, got the most content you've ever seen. But, it is what it is. Basically, alright, so for those of you who aren't new to the heist or don't know what the speedrun method is, it's basically what I'm doing. I'll explain what I'm doing in this video, and then in the next video I'll go over it more. All you need is the drainage tunnel, the Kashka, and the fingerprint cloner, plasma cutter, and then there's the cutting torch, I believe it's called, and then your weapon loadout and whatnot. 
Now I'm doing it with the long fin, and the reason why is because I've been doing it different approaches. And honestly, if you go for the Alita challenge, the Alita, the Elite challenge, you need to do speed. If you're and you need to fill your bag, so you need to know Rubio's path, basically. Because you can get down to the main dock and fill your bag up. For me, I come in with the long fin or the plane, depending on where the uh, guard outfits are, grappling hook is, and the guard vehicle. And I enter from the main part of the compound. And on the way, I will fill my bag up with uh, cocaine or weed or whatever it is. You know, mainly it's the cocaine, but if there's paintings in this office, will be, and I can't get to the other stuff. It will just be a thing of cocaine, and the rest will be um, a painting. And I'm walking away each time with 1.6 million. And that's per hour. So all you need to do is gather intel, go to the satellite dish, basically, hack it, boom, bada, bing, you're done with that. And you can extract, and then you can start your... All you need is these three right here, cutting torch, fingerprint, and plasma cutter. And then a weapon loadout. I'm going in this time with the saboteur. So, that'll be some fun. You don't need to worry about any of this shit. You only need to worry about air support if you get caught. Armor. Headshot. They don't wear helmets. And weapons. It doesn't really matter because you're shooting with the head with a suppressor on. But that's basically all you need for this heist. Anyways, that's explaining a little bit of what, you know, it is the speed run. This heist. But anyways. Rejuvenation. Nation. <laughs> Time to say. If you're new here, slap a like on the video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. For those of you who are already subscribed, thank you so much for hitting that subscribe button and becoming part of the Rejuvenation Nation. Don't forget to hit that like button. Comment down below on what you want to see next. Possibly in Red Dead, call, uh, Red Dead or GTA or whatever else I may or may not have. Let me know if you want me to bring live streaming back because that could be a possibility in the near future as well. And as always, stay rejuvenated. I'll see you in the next video.